Hello everyone and welcome to or back to my channel. You can call me Ray and if you are new here be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you know every single time I upload a new video. So I'm sure you saw the title of this video and you were thinking, Ray, what the f and for that, I would not blame you. When I first started my YouTube channel, I started with the Not So Berry series. Not So Berry was the first video that I ever made. Back then, I was still pretty unsure of myself. I was very um, shy and my sim style was just way different. It wasn't really up to par with my standards. That said, I went a really long time without uploading anything for the Not So Berry series. And that is when I decided that I was going to scrap that specific series because it was, it, it just, it have been so long since I last uploaded that it was one of those uh, situations where I was like, is anyone even going to be interested if I continue this story? Because no one's going to remember what even happened in the last video. And I hate it when that happens. Um, for me personally, I know I tend to forget things uh, that happened like the last time. And then it's like, well, gee, now I have to go back and watch the last video. And then I have to watch the video before that. And I might as well just start over at that point, right? So I wanted to make it easier on you guys. I figured that I would just start over with something that I could be happier with and more more content with and uh i know last time i said that i would finish the series and i'm still holding myself to that standard it's just i'm starting over and i intend to finish this one for sure because this is this is the quality that i'm looking for that i strive for this is what i've wanted for so long from the not so very series and this is kind of like the vision that i always had for it obviously the character that we have in front of us is not yuna um this is an entirely brand new character that I came up with. Her name is Mintberry, so um, that is spelled M-I-N-T-H-E, and then her last name is spelled B-E-A-R-I. So I kept the same spelling of the last name, but I did change the the founder. She's not of Asian descent. In my head, um, I want her to be more like Latina representing, and that's kind of what I was going for with her. And just as well, Mintberry I also call her Misty. So if you hear me saying Misty through this in my head, um, her nickname is Misty. So I, I will probably call her Misty a lot, if not always, but her name in the game is Mint. I just thought it was cute to like give her a nickname and now I'm like really attached to Misty. So now I just want to go ahead and pull up the rules for Not So Berry. I'm sure all of you guys know about the rules already, but I'm just going to reiterate them. And I am kind of adding on some things that I want to accomplish. Introducing the Not So Berry Challenge. It says, do you like the rainbow? Do you like the idea of playing with Berry Sims but hate Berry Sims? I actually love Berry Sims. I think they're super cute and I'm hoping to do a Berry series one day. But anyways, uh, do you want to mess around with aspects of the game you've never used before? Boy, do I have the challenge for you. Welcome to the Not So Berry Legacy Challenge, a 10 generation legacy with a focus on bright colors and new experiences. So then we have the basic rules here with which is each heir must represent the color of the generation, uh, which for example would be hair, makeup, clothing, but brightly colored skin is not necessary. Um, these aren't actually Barry Sims and that's supposed to be the joke. Of course, this is optional, but a big portion of the fun. The colors of the spouses don't matter as they aren't a part of the challenge. Unless otherwise stated, you can do whatever you please with them. Money cheats can be used, but not excessively. A suggestion is to use free real estate for your first home, but no cheats after Afterwards. You may live wherever you please unless something is specified in the rules of a generation. Every generation is supposed to complete both the career and aspiration of the heir unless explicitly stated otherwise. Keep the lifespan on normal. So then we're going to get into generation one mint. So we have our mint sim here. It says you're a mischievous scientist that really loves the color mint. You're career driven but still make time for silly pranks and outings with your closest friends. You love luxury and want the best for yourself and your family. So the traits for mint generation would be vegetarian, jealous, and materialistic. And then for the aspiration, we have the chief of mischief aspiration. And then for the career, it is the scientist career. So for the checklist that we have to do for mint generation in order to complete mint gen, we have to master the scientist career and complete chief of mischief aspiration. And then we have to master mischief, we have to master logic, and we have to complete the elements collection. And to further challenge my myself, I decided uh, why not 
kick it up a notch and add a little bit more criteria for me to accomplish. So another piece of criteria that I want to add on is get abducted by an alien. Um, this happened the first time to me in my original series of Not So Berry, and I think this happens a lot in scientist careers, so I feel like this is almost just a given, but I do want to kind of make an effort to get abducted by aliens. And I also want to max out the programming skills. So with everything that originally comes with the challenge, I've also added on a few requirements for myself. Um, this is not part of the challenge, these last few things, but um, if you want to do them like that, then you can. Anyways, thank you so much for listening to all of that, and now we can finally get into the gameplay. I hope you enjoy my new series for the Not So Berry Legacy Challenge. Okay guys, so I'm actually using a new reshade preset that I made very unintentionally and I actually really like it. <laughs> I have never played with MXAO before because I don't know, I just, I usually don't really like how it looks in my gameplay, but I'm wondering if you guys uh, would like my videos like that. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to flip between MXAO and none of it. So um, if you could just let me know in the comments what you prefer i'm gonna show you real quick the difference between them so this is with the mxao off and now i'm gonna show you with it on so that's what it looks like with it on and um as you can see it adds a bunch more shadows um the uh the ui can be a little bit distracting and difficult to look at but this is kind of like what we would be working with and then this is without so with and then without i don't know i'm having such a hard time deciding I usually don't like it, but I'm kind of digging it right now. I don't know. Like, what do you think? Really, it's up to you because I just want you guys to be able to, you know, like looking at it. I think my game runs pretty smoothly with it on. I'm not noticing any particular lagging. I am noticing a bit of a lag. Yeah. So I don't know. Like there's the slightest bit of lag and but it's hardly noticeable. You know, what? if you guys like it, please let me know and I will turn it on. But for this video, I think I'm going to be using this reshade it looks so nice i'm kind of shocked at myself i like made this reshade on a whim just so i could film the intro and i was like wait that's kind of cute so anyways this is uh our founder's house so it's not like completely done yet because um i kind of just wanted to use the twenty thousand that i was given i know that in the rules it says that you can use money cheats a little bit but i don't know maybe i'll end up using money cheats to help me kind of furnish this house a little bit more but otherwise I'm I kind of just want to do it the right way well like there's no right way right but like I want it to be challenging Misty here she wants to build a snow pal with another sim and she wants to be mischievous so we're gonna let her do stuff like that and um by the way she's in her winter clothing right now i have several outfits for her they're all minty looking and they're all cute i love them i love her style she's the best and also as we can see she is already enrolled as a lab technician she has work in 24 hours i think that i'm going to change the science lab so i said that in my last not so berry series and i never ended up doing it well um this time i am going to do it because i just want something different i want something unique i want something cool because i don't know the original science lab is a little bit uh boring eureka mint berry had her first breakthrough and wrote down an idea for a momentum conserver click on the notebook button at the top of the phone menu to learn more about it so we love that for her kind of want to change our phone i don't know what i'm gonna like though i've never really browsed this i've always just left it at the default <laughs> oh we'll leave it at that because it's kind of minty misty has a cute little gap in her teeth as well which i love that she's so cute and uh, let's see what's coming up on the calendar so today is actually the humor and hygiene festival Woo! so yeah last time in my not so berry series i think that the humor and hygiene festival actually happened like the first night i was there as well so um we're definitely gonna go to that so that we can cause some mischief and maybe make a friend or two i don't know also we live in newcrest so this is newcrest it is winter time so it's not like super pretty but it'll get prettier with the seasons changing how do i already have 365 dollars in bills i'm just just wondering just wondering <laughs> right now i'm getting that misty wants to buy a chess table i think that i am going to end up getting her a chess table because i mean she's gonna need it for the logic skill anyway and what time does the festival it starts at five it's kind of late isn't it oh well we're a young adult we don't have any kids we don't have anything to do i thought you were going home 
Look at Miss Katrina Caliente out here without a shirt on in winter. You go, girl. I don't know. I'm not really digging this woman, so I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, do some mischief interactions with her. We're going to take a look. Let's see. So, perform 10 mean or mischievous interactions, and we just did that. Be disliked by two sims. Gotta be disliked by two sims. Love that. Apparently, this woman really likes us. What's her name? Dolores. Oh, girl, a name like Dolores, really? Also, you can't really see it in this outfit, but I thought it would be cute to um give her like kind of well not dyed roots but like that's her natural hair color and she's got the mint coming through i just thought that was so cute but you can't really see it in that other outfit i'm gonna change her back because she's gonna get cold i didn't install ac into this apartment or into this house because <laughs> i'm cheap we're just going to uh eternally stay in our winter clothes until it warms up a bit right now i am performing some mischievous interactions to get some of that out of the way we got like three interactions done i guess that's something and in an hour we are going to be heading out to the humor and hijinks festival so we're in it to win it all right my besties listen up we're gonna win this okay we are determined there is determination here we are so determined in fact that we're gonna go use the bathroom before we leave see okay i love this i love playing this not so very challenge because it really takes me back to when i first started my youtube channel and i don't know it just makes me super happy except i'm sad that we no longer have the farting noises when we're on the toilet. I'm sorry, rest in peace. And in case you didn't know, there was a point in time where you could uh, get your sims to fart on the toilet. I think it was a mod by Kawaii Stacy. I think it was the Slice of Life mod. I'm not sure that that's even part of the mod anymore. But we've got this little thingy now and we're gonna go ahead and travel to the Humor and Hijinx Festival because we're not gonna invite Dolores because I don't really like her name. So she can't really hang with us, to be honest. Sorry. Okay, no, I'm just kidding. I love the name Dolores. If your name is Dolores, please ignore me. All right, so we are here ready to f*** it up. Mm -hmm. All right, looks like all of these pests, I could probably beat them, especially you, Vlad. I'm gonna kick your ass. All right, so the key here is that we're gonna see first, we're gonna see which uh, team most people gravitate towards. So already I see like everyone going over there. I'm just watching, just observing. It's my sworn enemy, Penny Pizzazz. Why is she always here? Ew, I don't wanna be on the same team as Vlad. All right, that's it. I'm joining this team. I am gonna go join, uh, uh, what are they? The pranksters. I'm gonna join the pranksters and please shut up. I'm gonna join the pranksters and I'm going to absolutely pester the f out of Vlad because I can't stand him. I think Penny Pizzazz also joined that team. So did Penny Pizzazz join that team? Because if she did, I am going to ruin her f life. Ugh, Vlad isn't even- he did- I thought he drank some of it. Okay, well anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and be really mean to him. Come back, loser. I've got to shove you. Where did he go? Although we can't really do anything- oh, oh, I see. I see someone who is on the opposite team that I don't like. Oh wait, I can't pester Penny because she's a celebrity too. Why is everyone a celebrity around here so everyone that joined the other team is a celebrity and nobody can interact with them okay cute part of the aspiration for the chief of mischief you do need to have a voodoo doll at some point and i don't know if anyone remembers but i had such a hard time getting a voodoo doll for like no reason um mostly just because i'm stupid and i think you guys are already i think you've all caught on to that by now that i am not like the brightest i'm just gonna you know be mean to this woman the whole night because she's really the only one that i can i can do anything to i can slap her silly the pranksters are in the lead by five keep performing interactions for your team to earn points wait am i on the pranksters i can't or am i the jokesters who am i i did join the pranksters you guys are winning because of me i'm just calling it right now you guys are only winning because of me and you're welcome for that uh oh we're very playful hold on guys i have to save i have to save because if i die right now i'm gonna be so mad i'm gonna be really mad <laughs> okay, so I think after this mischievous interaction, we're probably gonna stop doing these things because I don't really, I don't want to die tonight. Um, as much as I want to win, I don't want to win enough that I'm willing to die for it, you know? Can I, like, go to a mirror to calm down or something? Is there a mirror over here that I can calm down at? Like, in the bathroom. Oh, look, in the bathroom. Perfect. Wait, we're only in the lead by four now? What did you guys do? You guys suck. Am I the only one doing anything? Apparently, I cannot rely on my teammates to do 
fucking anything. Even though there's like 20 of us on this team and like two people on the other team. Like, guys, what are you doing? I need to go calm down though. I can't keep carrying this team on my back or else I'm going to die. I'm not an alien. Why is she glowing? Or wait, I'm an idiot. She's glowing because she drank the drink. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not an alien. <laughs> Just having a f***ing crisis in the mirror right now. <laughs> Okay, we're back in the lead by five. Good, 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 good. Somebody's finally doing something besides me. I guess we'll shove him. You know, that's what I'm in the mood for. I'm in the mood for violence and oh gosh, I am actually probably going to end up installing the extreme violence mod for my human enough challenge because uh, obviously we have to kill people in that challenge. Is that Lilith? It is. Guys, how cool would it be if I ended up with Lilith for this playthrough? I mean, she's pretty hot, right? Actually, no, you know what? I don't, I don't even with Vlad. I want to be go, I want to be go friends. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go be friends with Lilith. Um, so we're gonna do a friendly introduction. I think that this is the start of something new. What is on your leg? Wait, what? What is? You have a tail? Like honestly, Lilith, she just needs uh, a bit of a makeover. You know, a bit of a Ray makeover. Let's theorize about aliens. Try to scare her off. If she doesn't get scared off by it, then she's the one. I better get that f***ing money, I swear to god. Now it's important that we observe some abstract art. Okay, this tail. Where did you- when did I download tail CC? Did I- is that something I downloaded? Because I don't- I don't remember doing that. I didn't- I didn't do that. The pranksters win. All pranksters have received $500 of voodoo doll and fireworks. Yes, bitch! Wait. <laughs> okay, well, um, now we can go home because somebody's about to pass out, but let's check our inventory. We got some fireworks. Um, we got a uh, voodoo doll, so I don't even have to worry about that. We have a voodoo doll now. I don't know. I don't really want to half-ass my job at the science lab anymore. I felt like I was half-assing last time I played because I wasn't, like, mixing serums or anything, really, because those required ingredients, and I am the worst about ingredients. I don't know why. I just hate doing it. That's why I never really vibed with cottage living. Um, I don't like gathering things. I don't like any of that mess. It's just, it's too much, you know? Um, I'm, I'm a very simple-minded player. Okay, we've got work in three hours. Oh my god, girl, we know you gotta get up. You gotta get up, like, now. We've got to go, um, go pee, go shower, and eat all in three hours somehow. I don't know how we managed to this up already. Well, anyways, we're gonna eat a garden salad because I don't trust my sims to not blow up the house uh, until they're at, like, cooking level three, so. And, you know, it's not even, like, someone who makes their food like this can be trusted with a stove anyway. Oh, my god, we're not even gonna get to eat! <sighs> look at that like literally right as she was gonna take a bite okay welcome to future sims labs you'll be quite busy conducting essential experiments researching new technology and maybe even interacting with alien life it is your job to leverage potent scientific equipment for the purposes of good we hope well welcome okay wait so this is actually a renovated science lab so i am playing in a save file right now and i'm glad that this science lab is actually already renovated and I don't have to worry about placing a new one. I just, I didn't like the last one. I really didn't. Wait, we have to chat with Vlad? We work with Vlad? No. Oh my gosh. I'm resetting the game. Oh, Vlad. No. Why? He's the receptionist. I'm going to kill him. I'm going to kill him and um he's gonna be one of the sims that we're gonna get to dislike us let's go invent the momentum conserver so why is he flirty with me please no no oh no wait is there something wrong like is this not where i can get to it no she can get to it she's just lazy <laughs> i'm so mean to my sims <laughs> also uh this time i really need to focus on getting my logic and um what was it logic and mischief uh i totally forgot forgot about logic until the very end of the challenge last time and honestly I cut out a lot but it was a nightmare it really was it was just I was just struggling to get through the logic skill I was trying to go as fast as I could and I was just Ew. we can turn on the momentum conserver so I'll go put it like I guess there don't know what it does I actually have no idea what this is even for and then we can view it as it says up here we're just following the rules okay so now 
we can ask a coworker for a medal. Who are we gonna ask? Who's the cutest person here is my question. We'll go do a friendly introduction. We'll be nice to her. I'm only, wait, she's kind of hot too. They're one upping me. Wait, you're really hot. I'm sorry, but nobody here can be hotter than I am. That is just simply not allowed. I have some smoking coworkers. Oh my gosh, why is it so bright in here? How many lights do we have? <laughs> How many fluorescents do we have in here? Where's the other hot woman? Where did she go? Get away from my woman. God, I hope she's not married. Oh, so I also have to ask a coworker for a crystal. So I'll ask her for a crystal. I'm sure she will give us one because she's cute. You know, she's the kind of girl that would have crystals lying around. And we have to water a plant. No idea where the plants are. Hmm. Did I say that I really need to focus on the elements collection as well too? Because um, that was probably my least favorite part. I did not like having to do the elements collection. I don't think anyone likes that part of this challenge. Like I've never heard someone say, oh yeah, my favorite part of the not so berry challenge is uh, collecting elements. That's the best part. Uh, yeah, no, said no one ever. I found a new element, a uh, xeno xenopetrium. Zen xenope xenopetrium. Well, it's something I can add to my chart. So, oh my goodness, are you okay? Wait, oh my gosh, you want me to join them single ladies? Are you for real? Oh my god, I'm being honored. I would, uh, yeah, I'd love to. Absolutely. Zoe. Oh, wait, Zoe's really pretty. Welcome to single ladies. I'm happy that you're, that we're, ha I'm, I'm happy that you have decided to join our club. We are having a club gathering. Girl, I'm at work. No, I can't just leave. I can't, oh my gosh, Dolores, please stop. I feel like trying something new and exciting. Something like changing careers. What do you think? Um, d d do it. Can you not make decisions for yourself? Mint's work day will end in one hour. She should wrap up what she's doing each work day can be extended once by clicking on the event timer well thankfully we don't need to extend the work day because we are done we have done everything that we needed to do what do you want what can i help you sir please go away god i hate it when men look at me like that um mint did a fantastic job today it won't be long before academic prestige and scientific achievements arrive mint has been promoted to apprentice event inventor mint has been a promoted to apprentice inventor she will now make an additional eight dollars per hour for a grand total of 32 dollars per hour that's actually pretty good she has also received the following bonus 192 dollars new clothes and journey to the stars is that a book or something her next shift is wednesday at 10 a.m so we heard so we earned 281 dollars today right back home home sweet home and we got that nice sweet promotion we've got a thousand dollars in the bank Woo! she just simply cannot wait to go eat inside she just had to eat out here like a rat basically why is agatha calling us i've called to inform you that your great great grand oh it's this so um yeah we'll just we'll just pretend that i didn't know that that's the one that you click like, oh my god i got two thousand dollars uh, what i didn't know that was gonna happen oh my god thank you we've had a long day at work so we have to take off all of our clothes to use the bathroom oh somebody's angry <laughs> thank you all so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed the video and as always if you enjoyed this video you tom peeping if you enjoyed this video be sure to like subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you know every single time i upload a new video and i will definitely be continuing he you better not you better not i will be continuing the not so berry series on my channel here for sure i'm not gonna give up on it this time because i really enjoy this playthrough but anyway i have to go beat tom peeping's ass because he is gonna go peep through my window now and i will see you in the next video Bye bye